Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another one. So, uh, I wanted to talk about the little teaser that we got earlier today and talk about sort of the marketing and what's been going on, and then also get into some of the stuff with the with the trailer, talk about like what's new, and and also I want to get into some Negan stuff, you know, like because I do expect him to join the Commonwealth at some point in part two. So I want to talk about what that's going to actually be like when he, when he does get there. And yeah, just a few other things. So obviously, before going any further, make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this. Again, the show is returning in like literally a month from now. That trailer is going to drop at any point. There's going to be a lot to talk about in the next like literally. I mean, it's, th- it's already starting with this thing. So if you want any videos breaking down any of this stuff, I, I really recommend hitting subscribe because it's going to be nuts for the next. I mean, really for the remainder of the year, because we're starting off with The Walking Dead now. And that ends in April, and then we have Fear coming back. And, I mean, we already got the confirmation that Madison is returning. So, you know, the, from April to June, that's going to be exciting to await her return. Then we get Tales of the Walking Dead right away. So that's going to be pretty interesting. There's Comic-Con. There's already reports right now that Andrew Lincoln is going to be filming, I mean, a Walking Dead project this year. Again, that could be he's going to be in the very last episode of The Walking Dead, or it could mean that... He's, he's going to be filming the Rick movie, right? It's most likely going to be the Rick movie for the most part because it's a big project, apparently. So, yeah, he has three projects he's doing this year, and apparently one of them is Walking Dead related. So that's that's definitely very exciting, and I, I do wonder when that's actually going to start. But, again, at this Comic-Con, there's going to be probably really big announcements. I mean, there has to be, finally, right? And then... Tales is going to end, I mean, at some point, right? Like, Tales might not air in June. Like, we might get a little bit of a break in, like, June, July, and then Comic-Con will be in July, obviously. But in August, we might get Tales of the Walking Dead, and that might air from August, September to, like, you know, the first week of October. Then The Walking Dead airs, and it might air alongside Fear the Walking Dead Season 8, which would just be pretty insane. And that takes us, again, until, like, the first week of December. So, like, from now until the end of the year, is is full on Walking Dead content. We've had a break now for about a month, a month and a half since Fear and World Beyond ended, but this year's a big year. 2022 is going to be a very big year. So anyways, like I said, if, if you are new here and you want more Walking Dead content like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. But let's actually talk about this teaser that they released. So obviously it shows a picture of Daryl and it's on the the wall of the lost. And it is just a little teaser because the the whole thing says Daryl's come a long way since the beginning. And obviously, this is a season one photo of Daryl, right? I saw just in the comments that there was a lot of people wondering, oh, what does this mean? If there's a photo of Daryl on the wall of the lost, this must be hinting at some type of storyline for Daryl. I think this is just like a little promotional teaser. Just like, honestly, I think tomorrow we're going to see like Carol on a photo. And I think it's going to continue every day sort of building up to, you know, I mean, again, the show's coming back in a little over a month, a month and like five days. So they are now starting to market th- this final season, right? Part two. And so that that's that's likely what it is. I really don't believe there's any sort of wall of the lost storyline. Because like, first of all, this is like season one, Daryl. Who took his picture at this point? It makes no sense, right? Like nobody took his picture in season one. This is likely, I mean, actually, it kind of reminds me of the episode. I think it's episode three, Tell to the Frogs or four. It's one of those episodes there, I believe, where he actually goes and tries to look for, for Glenn. I believe that's the episode. It's them going to the Vatos gang. And yeah, it's really cool to see that the the whole marketing campaign for part two ha- has begun now because it's been pretty quiet for a while. And I mean, this is exactly what I said, you know, the week of of January uh, 10th. I mean, I guess I said the week of January 10th for the trailer. This isn't a trailer, but basically around this point is when they're going to start marketing this just because during the holidays, people just want to do a bunch of holiday things, right? And now I think everyone for the most part, I mean, I took my Christmas tree down already. Most people are just like, all right, let's get on with the year. Let's like winter. Let's just be over now. Let's 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 go into spring and summer. I just want to, you know, I want the snow to go away so bad. It's so cold up here. No lie. Like every day it's like what? Minus 40 almost for the most part. It's minus 40 Celsius. So whatever that is in Fahrenheit, I'm going to check that quick. What is it? That's actually actually minus 40 Fahrenheit for some reason. Is that right? That makes no sense. Hold on. What if I went to minus 30 Celsius? Would that change it? Oh, yeah. Then it would go to minus 22. Okay. So yeah, minus 40 Celsius here is the same as minus uh, 40 Fahrenheit. So you can imagine for people in the US how cold that is here. I mean, it's not that every day, but we're getting like these big winter storms out of nowhere. It's actually been kind of warming up a bit lately, but yeah. Expect the the part two trailer to be out in like the next week. And I'm really excited for it because we're going to get a whole new narrative. So far, it's literally that 30 second teaser that we got that we're all sort of basing all, our, all of our knowledge off of, right? But in the next week, we're going to get that trailer. It's going to be super exciting to actually see, you know, just our characters in different situations. 
I, I believe we're going to see Pamela Milton actually speaking. I think we're going to get more of a narrative as to what the conflict is going to be at the Commonwealth. Who's, who's going to actually be involved with that? I think we're going to see Sebastian Milton doing some things to certain people that are going to kind of piss you off. We're going to see a lot of shots of Daryl and Carol just, you know, looking like they don't trust anyone, right? But we're going to get a bunch of stuff like that. And what I'm actually really looking forward to is, I mean, obviously there is those uh, synopses, I guess, that were released like, what, uh, two months ago, three months ago. I have no idea if those are real or not. They could have been faked. But regardless of that, we're going to get the official ones anytime now, anytime in the next week or two. So I can't wait to learn what the episode titles are going to be from episodes, I guess, 11 and beyond and all the synopses and, and stuff for for every episode because then we're going to know more of the flow of, of where they're going and i imagine it's not going to be so revealing like those leaks were saying it was going to be i imagine the actual official ones are probably not going to be that revealing but still definitely going to be exciting because we know like that, that's that's one of the things that came out like two months ago we know that negan is going to be at the commonwealth and at first obviously he's not going to be i think him and meg you're going to stay in alexandria and the Commonwealth troops also are there as well. Like the Commonwealth troops, I do believe, stay behind in Alexandria for a little bit. But there's going to be a point where I think Negan goes to the community. And I'm actually wondering when. I mean, does it happen right away? Maybe he doesn't stay with Maggie for that long. This also could hint that, you know, something does go down with Maggie. And maybe that's why Negan actually leaves. Because we're all sort of assuming right now that it's, you know, things are sort of repaired between the two. But it's very possible that as soon as they get back there, Maggie's like, you know what, I, I can sort of get over the fact that you're alive out there, but I don't want you around me ever. And so she tells Negan, go with them. You know, if you want any chance of surviving, if you don't want to deal with this shit, leave Alexandria. Because it happens in the comic, so it might be not necessarily he's being exiled, but they just tell him, you go to the Commonwealth. Maggie's like, I'm staying here in Alexandria. This way they're separated. And I think that makes the most sense. I don't think Negan is ever going to be welcomed in Alexandria. I don't see that being a thing. He's not going to have a home there. You know, I know he has that relationship with Judith and stuff, but I just, I think in the end, it doesn't really matter. They're just going to have to visit each other here and there. And I just think that he's never really going to be allowed in Alexandria. And so, yeah, I can't wait to see how that's going to go down. I mean, there's going to be a lot of interesting things that happen with Negan, right? Like, he's going to meet Sebastian. You know there's going to be conflict there. That's going to be a lot of fun to deal with. Like, Negan isn't going to put up with, with the shit that Sebastian is, right? And, and just the shit that he's doing. Like, there's no way in hell he's going to, which means he's going to get in trouble. And then there's also the whole thing of Negan meeting Princess, which I think could actually be pretty fun because both of them are very entertaining characters. I would love to get some scenes between those two characters. So I'm definitely really looking forward to part two here, and I, I really can't wait to see what the trailer is going to reveal because I think we could get a lot of new shots, like a lot of stuff. There's quite a bit of things that they get introduced. You know, there's a lot of things with like, I guess Mercer also, you know, so, sort of like second guessing whether or not he wants to be with, you know, the Commonwealth or, you know, supporting Pamela Milton's leadership because obviously he doesn't want to, but he's had no other choice. But, you know, at some point, and that's, I think that's what part two needs to really hammer down here or, or get right is you got to introduce the, the leader character here. You need to have a leader who is going to take the big death from Sebastian at the very end, or maybe it happens in part two. Maybe they switch it around a little bit where that's not the end game for The Walking Dead, but they still take that Rick's death moment from the comic and just do it in part two and then build a story around it, extend it, blah, blah, blah. The point is you need a character that's going to take that role. And that's the thing that kind of sucks about where the show is right now, but it's also sort of a benefit too, because we are going into movies and stuff. The story isn't ending right away, but that also means those bigger moments, you know, like Rick's death in the comic. It's also like the wall of the loss with Michelle and her daughter. Those moments aren't going to be that big on the show, right? Because the wall of the loss storyline wasn't that big with Yumiko. A lot of us were excited for that for a while. You know, could they do a Morgan thing? Could they do this? And they just did Yumiko and her brother, because that's really the only logical thing they could do. And it's not as exciting, but they just made it not that big, a, big of a part of the story. And, and I think they're going to do the same thing with, with the whole Rick thing, although I think it's going to be a big moment. I mean, if they're killing Ezekiel off, he's a big character. He's not as big as Rick, but he's still a really big character. That's why I think they might, you know, they might do that thing earlier, like at the end of part two. Maybe at some point in, in early in part three, they might not save that to be like the ending thing for The Walking Dead, but it, I think it's going to happen. And again, I think that's why I really want them to like to introduce that idea of who who's going to be the leader here. Who's the main leader of everything? Who's going to be the one person that deals with Pamela Milton 
the entire time because whoever that is is going to be the one that dies. Because in the comic, Rick is the one who is always communicating with her, always dealing with her. He's sort of the voice of everything. Who is going to be the voice of that here? So far, it's sort of been Eugene, but I don't see Eugene being the the big death and also kill. I don't see him killing him off. I just I just don't. I mean, maybe, but like again, I'm also sort of basing this off of the comic because it doesn't happen in the comic. So in my head, I'm like, well, it can't happen. Whereas Ezekiel actually, I mean, he died during the Whisper arc. I, I kind of feel like, well, they could totally kill him off here. But yeah, anyways, I, I definitely am really excited here. It's cool to see that they're actually starting to put out some some marketing uh, material here. I'm definitely excited to see what they drop tomorrow. Whatever they drop tomorrow, I, I will do a video on unless it's just something really small again. Then like, well, I mean, I guess even if it's small, it depends on what it is. Like even if it's a photo, if it's a new photo of something, then definitely I'll, I'll talk about it. But yeah, definitely if you're new here and you want more Walking Dead content like that and you want all the updates on, on the, the final season, definitely hit subscribe. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.